There's been a lot of new gun policy coming out of the White House, and much of that policy is very unconstitutional and illegal. Yet, the ATF is going to enforce anything that the White House asks them to enforce. And one particular policy is designed uh, to target those individuals who are going to gun shows and selling their collection. Because if you go to a gun show and if I go to a booth that is an FFL, I have to go do a background check. If I go to an individual selling his collection, I do not. And as an effort to target those individuals, which since the beginning of this country has been legal until the White House decided it wasn't anymore. Um, and by the way, this, this, this bill did go through the House and the Senate as well. So it's not just the White House, it's all of Congress. Uh, but it's designed to target those individuals. And uh, basically what it comes down to is six months ago, if I wanted to uh, sell my personal gun, I could. Now it's very different. And it's one thing to say, well, this is a new policy, but it's quite another to start arresting people for it. And so far in the short time that this policy has been enacted, over 200, 200 Americans selling their personal collections so that have been charged with gun trafficking. Um, and they're now having to go to court and fight this gun trafficking charge. Um, and chances are they're gonna do a little jail time because of it. Um, now, there's a big difference. Let's talk about the differences between gun traffickers. There's some people that'll buy a bunch of guns and they're selling them to criminals and they're selling them to out on the streets. Those are gun traffickers. A guy who has been selling his own collection of guns um, and doing that for years because it's legal suddenly is being charged with gun trafficking. And what, what, what we found too, is that it varies by what part of the country you're in too. For example, in Missouri, not a lot of people have been arrested for gun trafficking here. In California, a lot of people have been arrested for gun trafficking. New York, the East and West Coast specifically, as well as we'll plug Illinois in there as well. Um, and this is a major problem because again, it's one thing to say you just can't do that anymore. It's quite another to start arresting people for it. And you just can't say where well, you can't do that anymore. I mean, that's the problem with America lately <laughs> is there's just so many rules. We're not as free as we think we are. Um, every time that somebody decides, well, I don't like what these people are doing and they pass new rules. You know, my wife and I spent a little time in Europe this last summer and one thing I found to some degree, they're way more freer than we are. Uh, not necessarily when it comes to the Second Amendment, but a lot of other things that I, I remember just several times looking at my wife, just like, there's no way we'd be able to do this if we were in America, because there's just so many rules in America. It's just terrible. Growing up in the 80s, there weren't all these rules. Uh, there were, you know, and I call them rules because they're not laws. You can't sit there and make a law that, that violates the Constitution of the United States and, and accept it as law. Um, it, is, it is against the law to do that. And, and I do believe that these gun trafficking charges, I, I, I hope that several of them go to the, you know, fight it up, all the way up to the Supreme Court, ideally, because this is terrible when we're watching Americans who have been doing this legally and then suddenly they're felons just one day one day they're not the next day they are doing the same thing uh, but over 200 americans arrested for gun trafficking so far under this new policy uh, just trying to sell their personal collection uh, many thoughts are inside on that definitely put it below i would like to take a moment and say that most people watch this channel they're not subscribers to the channel please take a moment hit that subscribe button it greatly increases our ability to get these messages out that link is below. But the most important part of this channel is we take prayer requests. So never hesitate to send that in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, love God, love your family, and love guns.